So this is a continuation of the last video where we had uh, 150 grams of ice initially at negative 35 degrees Celsius um, and we're raising the temperature of the ice to the melting point and so um, this is the equation remember it's minus and negative 35 that's why there's a plus sign right there um, okay and so when you do this calculation you get uh, 2625 calories 2625 calories that's for step one okay so remember we're raising the temperature of this uh, water to 50 well well you know it started out as ice uh, so now we have to undergo a phase change and so that's going to be our step we're going to call that Q2 and of course we're going to add up these three steps at the end so this is 150, 150 grams of ice and it's uh, we're multiplying that times 80 calories per gram okay and we've already done this of course uh, and so that is uh, is 12,000 12,000 calories okay and then the final step is to raise the temperature of the the, the water now keep in mind um, going from step two to step to step three right so this is going to be q3 um, the water initially is zero degrees right because this phase right here q2 did not change the did not change the temperature so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the 150 grams of now oops 150 sorry let me put a zero in there 150 grams uh, and we're going to use the specific heat equation so this is going to be times one right because now it's liquid water that that's this is the specific heat one calorie per gram degree celsius so that's that's what our c is and now we have our final temperature which is 50 degrees celsius minus zero degrees celsius of course that's just 150 times 50 for the for this step and then at the very end we're going to add them all together all right so uh let's complete this um so when you do this uh, third step you get 7500 calories we're going to add that to the 12,000 calories and then also add that to the um 2625 calories which was of course we're required to melt the ice this phase change the ice and this one um raises the temperature of the now liquid water from zero to 50 and so the total energy to do this is going to be q1 plus q2 plus q3 All right and this is the way you always do these problems let's see when we add it up i get 22,125 whoops 125 uh, calories okay that's supposed to be an L <laughs> sorry so so uh, 100 so 22,000 let me rewrite it sorry about that uh, 22,125 calories okay so to, that's to take our 150 grams of ice initially at negative 35 raise it up to the to the melting point then phase change it, that's step two, then change the temperature of the now, now liquid water from zero, uh, which is right here, to 50. Um, and so that's step three, add them all together to get a final um, temperature. All right, next I'm going to do a, um, a problem that's not really related to this. Uh, this is at the end of the chapter, um, the, uh, the work uh, equation so I'll show you that and that should complete the chapter all right so uh, since I still have a little bit of uh, time on this particular video I thought we would change the subject completely go towards the end of the chapter and uh, work uh, we're going to use this work equation which is really um, another way of saying the first law of thermodynamics um, and then you got a couple of homework problems with this so it's it's really simple um, so work W is equal to um, the difference in temperature between the high temperature and the low temperature. And the way that this looks, um, just 
uh, if you look in the textbook it has um, some source of high temperature heat and that will naturally flow to uh, some low temperature heat so Q low this is the way nature works uh, just by itself and then as I said before about 200 to 250 years ago humans uh, learned that you could tap off uh, some useful work out of this and this is um, you know this was first uh, basically the steam engine this starts as the steam engine and then you know eventually becomes the internal combustion engine uh, that we use nowadays in our cars and, and a lot of other things um, if you reverse this if, if, if you uh, you know reverse the flow uh, that is you you put energy in uh, you can actually force the heat to flow the other way and this is then and if that's the case um, where you're putting putting work in um, and you're forcing the heat to go the other way that's called a refrigerator and that's also uh, known as an air conditioner which of course down here in the south uh, you absolutely need especially you know in the summertime so uh, let's do this equation so it's, it's really simple um, the work is going to be in whatever units the uh, the heat is in which is usually calories and I'll, I'll, I'll show you how to we'll, we'll change it so here let's do a quick example a really trivial um, suppose Q high is uh, um, oh I don't know how about uh, 800 calories so this is and uh, Q low the lower temperature um, Q is uh, uh, oh I don't know how about 250 calories all right so we what we're going to want to know is how much work um, would come out of such a, a such an engine um, and uh, the the let, let's let's calculate the work um, we'll convert it from calories to, to joules okay so so how much work uh, in joules Oops. okay so in joules um, all right, so let's get started. So uh, the work in this case, it, it couldn't be simpler. It's just uh, 800 calories uh, minus uh, 250. That's a zero calories, and uh, and so that gives us an answer um, in calories, right? So so it's 550, 550 calories so that's the amount of energy or sorry well work anyway it's it is a form of energy of course um, we're changing energy levels so so, uh, so so you get 550 calories out of that and then let's use our mechanical equivalent of heat we know that uh, one calorie is uh, 4.184 joules and um, the answer is when you multiply those two things, two thousand three hundred and one point two. Two thousand three hundred and one point two uh, uh, joules. And and b believe it or not, sometimes and and very often in in uh, in industry, um, they'll actually change this to to kilojoules. And so all you do is you move the decimal place three places to the left. Okay, so so this is approximately, I'll write it like that, the work would be approximately 2.3 kilojoules. And uh, so, so either answer is perfectly fine. If they wanted the answer in joules, you just do it this way. If they wanted it in, you know, uh, kilojoules, you just divide by three. Okay, I'm sorry, you divide by, not, not three, you divide by a thousand. All right, so that's the way that that works. And the, uh, the problems in the book are, are fairly simple, fairly straightforward. Okay.